Let's now have a quick look back to the beginning of the tutorial. Um, the, the objectives were to understand the problem of bush encroachment in Savannah ecosystems. Uh, I hope um, uh, we could show that the high dynamics in these ecosystems pose um, threats for the farmers and um, are a major um, biological um, change in these ecosystems. Uh, secondly, uh, I hope uh, we could um, familiarize you with machine learning in general and machine learning for Earth observation data, for satellite data, and introduce you to the MLR3 package um, that is still evolving and will in future um, make it easy for you to model large scales of data, for example, for um, mapping invasive species, for mapping land cover types. Um, or whatever task you, you need. Um, I hope you understood that the dimensionality of, of the data, that it's um, both spatial and temporal data, and the way we split it, we split it into training sets, and we split it into year, yearly slices. That's all also arbitrary. You can decide for yourself, for your data, what subsets you need, what training sets you need, and where you have the data availability. Um, or if you want to take the whole temporal timeline of data or you have biannual or some somehow else uh, yeah, temporal data. Uh, at last, uh, we've conducted a uh, validated spatial model. Uh, that's important because um, the simple non-spatial cross-validation gave us a far optimistic model assessment, um, but by validating it spatially, we have a more realistic uh, view on how good the model performs on, on the task land cover classification task we did. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and we'll see you again on EO College. My name is Konstantin Schellenberg and goodbye.